Hello everyone. In this webcast, we're going to introduce three basic concepts of chapter 16, which is um, kinematics, planar kinematics of rigid body. Um, and so the three concepts are um, rotation, about and fixed axis, translation, and planar body motion. After watching this webcast, you should be able to explain um, what is rotation about an axis, what is translation, and what is general plane motion. So let's start with the easiest one, which is um, rotation about a fixed axis. So if I rotate this gear, you see the gear is rotating in this direction. And if I have points on, uh, on the gear, A, B, C, they are rotating about an axis. So which axis we're talking about? If we put a pen here, you see which is perpendicular to the gear. And if it's rotating, so this is the fixed axis. And this is the rotation of the gear. And all the points... Um, on the gear will have a circular motion around the fixed axis but if the point falls onto the axis itself then there is no circular motion so this is called a rotation about a fixed axis now let's talk about translation the translation is a motion that doesn't have any rotation so motion without any rotation and there is two type of translation which uh, one of is rectilinear translation and um, the next one is a curvilinear translation so we're gonna show you the rectilinear translation using a one straight line the red line and two black dots so the example of uh, translation is that if my point this this block is moving in this direction if I draw a straight line after a movement from here, this position to the current position, you see the straight line, the previous line and the current position is parallel. So the red lines was parallel from here to there. So this is called translation because there was no rotation of this body. And this translation can be called rectilinear if any point, two point, here you can see those black two dot points th throughout the motion if they remain parallel. So if I draw a line from previous position to current position of that black dots, you see for this movement they are parallel. So if they are parallel, it's called rectilinear motion, meaning the block is moving in a straight line path, rectilinear path, and it doesn't have any rotation. So rectilinear translation. The opposite would be curvilinear translation when the parallel red line here remains the same, but any two path of those two black point is uh, curved. So if this block is moving this direction, in a curved path, instead of a straight line path, it would be curvilinear translation. Now we're going to talk about general plane motion. The general plane motion happens when uh, you have a combination of translation and motion. So for example, if I rotate this gear, observe this arm here, there is a straight line and two dots. So if I move from this position to this position or this position, the line is not vertical anymore, it's inclined. So meaning the part here of this block is going through a change in orientation and also is moving its place from this position. For example, now he is this position. So this is straight line you see, it's moving its position so it's translating and also it's changing its orientation from a straight line, vertical straight line to angle line here. So 
this lock is moving its position and also changing its orientation so this is called general plane of motion so here we have um, studied the rotation about an axis that's what we are having here and general plane motion and rectilinear translation